Well, it's that time once again, everyone, and I've got a familiar name here on the final cut back with a new creature feature. Michael Rodriguez has directed and written the story of Daisy. Now, here we have uh, <laughs> a gentleman by the name of Felix, who's a veteran who came back from Afghanistan, but brought back more than just PTSD. He brought back uh, a companion, if you will. Well, this companion has grown and gotten an insane appetite and at the same time there's been people that have gone missing around in the area of this small quaint town well when a content creator goes mixing uh, his father and friend go looking for him and what they uncover is a very uh, dark secret that has sharp pointy teeth and wings and we see how it all comes to a bloody conclusion in uh, the creature feature a uh, daisy michael rodriguez not disappointing, making the most of a small budget film and giving us an entertaining movie that has some wonderful practical effects, some uh, great kills, and some uh, uh, interesting performances for sure. <laughs> um, uh, the Daisy character alone, the design, is adorably grotesque, and I loved that. I love that. Jamie uh, Krivopok, uh, plays Daisy uh, with this feralness and uh, also this emotion. Uh, there's a lot of prosthetic makeup that's on a really good looking prosthetic makeup, especially within the face uh, and the mask area. And yet you still feel the emotions. You feel the connection that Daisy has to Felix, played uh, <laughs> deliciously evil by Michael uh, Wayne Wright. This is a character that you do have some sympathy for because he is suffering from survival guilt and some PTSD, uh, but at the same time, the creepiness of him is just uh, too much to get past, right? You feel more, I think, for Daisy uh, than for the Felix character, who is this guy who is trying to take care of Daisy, but at the same time, he's got this a bit of a, a, a mean and evil streak to him, and it's hard to say if he got that from the war or not, and I like that a uh, bit of a gray area for him, but he's definitely a bad guy. Uh, now, we get some familiar faces in here, especially uh, we've got a Sparkle a Sojin in here as Ginger. She plays a wonderfully uh, <laughs> bad person in here. She got into this role so much, uh, you know, and I loved that performance. It was exactly what was needed, and she really brings it. And then with her scene, especially early on in the film, there's a little bit, it almost felt like a little bit of an ode to a specific scene in Robocop. Not going to say what, but let's just say it involved, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything more, but it felt a little bit of an old Robocop. But Sparkle really putting her all into this role. And uh, I, yeah, it, just exactly what it called for. Emmanuel Ramirez uh, plays the Jerry character, and Matthew uh, Mas uh, Matt Macedo uh, plays the father character. You really feel for these guys as well, uh, and and their uh, performance. You know how you don't want anything bad to happen to you. Hope they. Uh, the father especially finds what happened to his son, though, again, you also don't want him to find out what happened to his son. And yeah, uh, most of the production value is really well done, well shot. It's shot on location. Audio is solid for most of the scenes. There are a few scenes where you could tell they did it in front of a green screen, but it's still done really well. Uh, but you can tell it's a little bit different than shooting on location. Uh, but Michael, again, making the most of the budget that he has and spending it where it counts, namely within the prosthetic makeup, as well as the kills that we get and the blood and the gore that you get looks visceral. And overall, I found this highly entertaining independent creature feature that's well done. And uh, yeah, if you like Michael Rodriguez's other work, you're going to like this. If you like any of these folks involved, I think you're going to dig it. You know, it, it's it's an interesting take on your uh, classic monster movie. So I think uh, you'll find plenty to enjoy here with Daisy. So thank you so much. Uh, please like, subscribe, all that here. I thank you for your support. And until next time, remember, uh, keep that ticket stub. Ah.